Hi yogis and welcome to our morning energizing practice today. Whether you're in the middle of the day, <laughs> the end of your day, but you're looking for a little bit of a pick me up, this practice is for you. So we'll begin by lying on our backs. I'll meet you down on our mat. And this time we'll keep the soles of the feet planted down onto the mat. And the palms can come to rest on top of the belly. We'll bring the soles of the feet together and the knees knocking wide. So we're finding a little bit of a diamond shape through the legs. And you can walk the heels closer or farther away from the body, depending on maybe the sensation coming up for you today. And finding a shape that you can rest a little bit in. Just noticing maybe how our physical body is feeling today. And starting to observe our breath. You might bring the fingers over top of the ribs and the thumbs towards the low back so that the elbows are out towards the sides of our mat. And on the inhale, you'll feel the ribs begin to expand. And on the exhale, as everything draws back in, Just taking this opportunity to connect with your breath. And actually feeling the parts of the body that expand on your inhale. And the parts of our body that contract with our exhale. Noticing how our body moves up towards the sky, out towards the sides, and even down towards our mat. This full body breath. And for our practice today, we will be moving with our breath at our own natural rhythm and pace. Taking our time meeting ourselves where our body is today. We'll take the palms of the hands to the outside of the thighs and gently draw the knees back in towards center, planting the soles of the feet down onto the mat and the palms will come to rest on top of the belly. We'll heel toe the feet as wide as our mat this time, and begin to knock the knees from side to side. Starting to find a little bit of movement, connecting into our low back, and maybe noticing the sensations happening through the inner and outer thighs. And the knees will come back through to center, heel toe the feet all the way in. And then we're going to draw the knees in towards the chest. You can catch for behind the thighs or the tops of the shin. And then draw the forehead all the way up to meet the knees, giving yourself a little bit of a squeeze here, hugging everything in. And then on the exhale, plant the soles of the feet back down onto the mat. Draw the left knee in towards the chest, catching for behind the thigh or the top of the shin. An option to keep the right sole of the foot down onto the mat or maybe extending the heel all the way to the top and then flexing the right toes in towards the knee. And then inhale, draw the right knee in to meet the left, interlace the fingers over top of our right shin and then extend the left heel either to the top of the mat or planting the sole of the foot down onto the mat, depending on how that feels through the body. And then we're going to find a little bit of core awakening here. So draw the left knee back in to meet the right. This time interlace the fingers behind the base of the skull. Thumbs point down towards the neck, the shoulders, and then relaxing our head back down, elbows to the sides. And then we'll stack our knees with our hips 
and then ankles in line with the knees and then flexing the toes in towards the body. And then we'll lift our head up just a little bit here, keeping the back of the neck soft and using the palms as a cradle for our head. Take an inhale. And then on the exhale, begin to gaze over towards your left as you extend the right heel out, drawing the navel in towards the spine. Inhale, right knee comes back in, head comes back through to center. And then exhale, extend through the left heel as we gaze over towards the right. Inhale, coming back through to center. Exhale, over to the left. Feeling the core begin to engage and checking in that our low back is staying rooted down onto the mat. Meeting our body where it is, maybe this is a really big movement for us today. Maybe we feel a little bit shaky and that's okay. Moving with our breath <laughs> at our own pace. Getting to warm up the body, fire up the body. Two more on each side. Stay with me here. Maybe moving slow and steady, taking a break if you need to. Listening to maybe what's coming up through our body here. Last one. And as we come back through to center, release the head down, soles of the feet down onto the mat. <sighs> Letting that go. Hmm. And then inhale, draw the knees in towards the chest, find a gentle rock from side to side. And then on our inhale, palms can come behind the thighs, rocking along the spine if it feels comfortable today. If not, rocking onto your side. We'll meet up in a comfortable seat. Maybe you find a little bit of extra rock and roll here if that feels really great on your spine. And then we'll meet at the top of our mat. Taking our time to find a comfortable seat. If the hips are feeling a little bit tense today, you can bring a block or prop a pillow up underneath to create some space for our hips. And as we arrive here, feeling that length through our spine. And then inhale, we'll reach our arms all the way up. And then exhale, palms together at heart center. Inhale, reaching out and up. And exhaling, palms together and down. Last one, inhale, reaching out and up. And exhaling together and down. And this time we'll reach out and up. And on our exhale, interlace the fingers together. We're bringing the palms to the back of the skull, thumbs pointing down towards our shoulders. Again, finding that position we were just in, continuing to lengthen out of our spine. Take that inhale. And on the exhale, see if you can move with just the upper ribs, taking our gaze over towards the left. Navel draws in towards the spine, keeping the chin in line with the chest. Inhale to come back through to center. And then exhaling over towards our right. Inhaling. And exhale. Moving with our breath and just observing the mobility happening through our upper spine today. Last one, inhaling and exhaling over towards our right. Inhale to come back through to center. And then exhale, reach the arms up and then plant the palms in front of the body, fingers spread wide, rooting through the knuckle pads of our fingers, we're stacking our wrists with the shoulders and then bringing our knees underneath our hips. The so meeting in our tabletop position of our practice today.
Checking in with how our wrists are feeling, our knees, and maybe keeping the toes untucked if that feels okay through the knees. If not for a little bit of extra padding, taking away some pressure from the knees, you can keep the toes tucked underneath. And then we'll begin to find a little bit of circles here. So drawing the hips back towards the heels, circling over towards the left, the right. Maybe the shoulders come past the wrists, so we're finding a little bit of circular motion through our wrists, our knees, and through our hips. Taking this as our opportunity to check in with our body. And then circling in the opposite direction. Coming back through the center, so we're stacking our wrists with our shoulders and our knees underneath our hips. Take an inhale to extend your left heel towards the back of your space, toes tucked underneath, and then engaging through our glutes. Checking in with our wrists, if this is a lot of pressure on our wrists, you can come up onto fists or keeping the palms down, depending on how we're feeling. And then for a little bit of an extra challenge, maybe the right arm reaches in line with the ears. If this feels too compromising or makes our left wrist really sensitive, then maybe we keep our right palm down. We'll take an inhale, feeling length from the tips of the right fingers all the way through to the left foot. And then on the exhale, round through the spine, draw the left knee in to meet the right elbow. Inhale to extend. Exhale to draw in. Inhale to reach. Exhale, drawing in. Inhale, we'll reach. And then on the exhale, right palm plants back down, left knee underneath the hips, maybe finding a little bit of a wagging from side to side of the hips with the shoulders, releasing, letting that go. And then we'll take an inhale, finding that neutral point through our spine and extending our right heel all the way back, <laughs> engaging through the glute and then checking in with our wrists. Maybe we're coming up onto those fists. Maybe we're reaching our left arm in line with our ear. Take an inhale and then exhale, draw the right knee in to meet the left elbow. Inhale to reach. Exhale to draw it in. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, we'll find that reach. And then exhale, plant the left palm back down, right knee stacks underneath the hips. Inhale to tuck the toes underneath, and on the exhale, reaching the sit bones up, pressing the thighs back. We're finding our first downward facing dog here. We're rooting through the index finger and the thumb, elbows draw in, feet are about hip distance apart, and maybe we find a generous bend through the knees so that we can lengthen out through the tailbone. And finding some length through our spine. We'll begin to fire up a little bit here on your inhale, wave the spine forward, coming into your high plank. On your exhale, bend through the knees, bring the hips back towards the heels, and then press the hips up, thighs press back, downward facing dog. Inhale again to wave the spine forward. Exhale, bend through the knees, hips reach back towards the heels, and then pressing the thighs up and back. One more, inhale to wave forward. Exhale, bend through the knees. Hips sink back, and then reaching them up towards the sky. Inhale, our left leg will reach up and back, toes point down towards the mat. And then pausing here for a moment, taking a breath, checking in that our fingers are rooted down, feeling this length and energy through our left sole of the foot. Take another inhale. And then on the exhale, around through the spine, draw the left knee in towards the chest and then plant the foot between the palms. Lower the right knee down. Inhale, arms to reach up. And then exhale to cactus the arms. And then slowly twist over towards the left. Checking in with our legs, setting our foundation here. Take an inhale to come back through to center. And then exhale, twist and open. Inhale to come back. 
and then exhale. Inhale, we'll reach up. And then exhale, plant the palms down to the mat, hug the right toes, lift the right knee, step the right foot all the way up to meet the left. Inhale for your halfway lift, neutral spine. And then exhale, soft bend in the knees as we fold forward. Keeping the arms heavy, inhale, begin to rise up. And then draw the shoulders up towards the ears and then down the back. Palms will face towards the front of the room. Take an inhale. And then on the exhale, we begin to dive down. So hinging from the hips, bending through the knees. Palms will come down to the mat. Option here to walk, step, or hop to the back of your mat. Taking our inhale through our plank, setting up our foundation here. And then on the exhale, bending through the knees. Hips begin to shift back towards the heels, pressing the thighs up and back. Exhale. This time, wave the spine forward. Bend through the knees, reach the sit bones up and back. Take an inhale. Exhale, wave the spine forward. Bend through the knees, reach the sit bones up and back. Inhale, waving forward this time. Exhale, bend through the knees. Reach the sit bones up, press the thighs back. Inhale, we'll reach our right leg up and back, toes stay pointed down towards the mat, and then we're pausing here just for a moment, trusting in our fingers, our arms, feeling strong through our legs. Take another inhale, and exhale, inhale, and then on the exhale, round through the spine, begin to draw the right knee in towards the chest, plant the foot between the palms, and then we're lowering our left knee down. Inhale, arms sweep up, feeling strong through the legs. And then exhale, cactus the arms, gaze over towards the right. Inhale to come back through to center. And then exhale, over towards the right. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, we'll come back through to center, reach the arms up. And then on the exhale, plant the palms down onto the mat, tuck the left toes, lift the left knee, step the left foot all the way up to meet the right. Inhale for your halfway lift, neutral spine palms to shins or thighs. And then exhale, soft bend of the knees as we fold forward. Inhale, begin to reach up, arms stay heavy. Shoulders up towards the ears, down the back. Arms beside the body, palms facing forward. Take an inhale. And then on our exhale, we're hinging from the hips, bending through the knees. Bending enough so that the palms will come down onto the mat. Option here to walk, step, or hop to the back of your mat. Take an inhale through plank. And then on the exhale, bend through the knees, shift the hips back, press the thighs up and back. Finding our downward facing dog. Take an inhale, reach the left leg up and back. Exhale, draw the left knee in towards the chest, round through the spine, plant the foot between the palms. Inhale to wave the spine forward. And then exhale, arms sweep up. Maybe finding a soft bend through the right knee to stabilize through the pelvis. You can walk the left foot over towards the left side. We'll take an inhale and an exhale. Inhale. And then exhale, plant the palms down onto the mat. Step the right foot up to meet the left. Inhale for your halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise up this time. Arms reach all the way up. And exhale, palms together at heart center. We're going to shift our weight into our left foot, feeling a little bit heavy here, maybe micro bending through the left knee, and then slowly lift the right sole of the foot up and away from the mat, testing out our balance here, checking in. Hands can stay on top of the hips, and then slowly begin to bend through the left knee as you cross the right leg over the left knee. And maybe the right foot wraps around the back of your left calf, Maybe it simply taps the side and that's okay. If you have a block, you can also bring it beside the left calf and use it to rest the right toes on top of. So you're bringing it onto the highest height. 
And then slowly sinking the hips back, checking in with our body here. And if this is feeling comfortable and stable through the body, then you're taking the right arm, wrapping the left elbow over top of the right, and the backs of the palms can come to connect or both palms will come to connect in towards one another. Take the elbows and begin to draw them up towards the sky. So we're finding our eagle arms in our eagle pose. <laughs> Finding that point of focus, and maybe we take the arms out of this if we find that we're really wobbly today. Taking an inhale, and then exhale. Stabilizing through our breath, staying strong through our core. Take another inhale, and exhale. And then inhale, begin to reach up, arms reach all the way up, plant the right foot down onto the mat. And then exhale, folding forward. Palms plant down to the mat. Option here to walk, step, or hop to the back of your mat. Inhaling through plank. And then exhale, bending through the knees, reaching the hips back towards the heels, pressing the thighs up and back, finding our downward facing dog. Take an inhale, reaching our right leg up and back this time. Exhale, draw the right knee in towards the chest. Plant the foot between the palms. Inhale to wave the spine forward, finding that length. And then on the exhale, arms sweep up. Maybe you find a gentle bend through the left knee to stabilize through the pelvis. Maybe the right foot walks over to create some space through the hips. Checking in here, take an inhale. And an exhale. One more inhale. And then on the exhale, palms plant down to the mat. Step the left foot all the way up to meet the right. Inhale for your halfway lift, neutral spine. And then exhale, soft bend in the knees as we fold forward. Inhale, rise up, reach up. And then exhale, palms together at heart center. We're beginning to root down through our right foot this time. So growing heavy, maybe we hover the left foot up and away from the mat. Maybe the knee draws a little bit closer in towards the hips. Hands can come to the hips. Starting to micro bend through our right knee as we cross the left leg over top of the right and know that one side might be completely different than the other and that's okay. Maybe the left foot is able to wrap around the calf. Maybe the left foot comes on top of a block for more stability. Finding that point of focus. <laughs> Settling in here. And this time, our right elbow wraps underneath our left. Palms come to the back, or maybe the palms to touch. Begin to draw the elbows up towards the sky. Finding length in the chest. <laughs> Stability through the core. Thighs hug in towards one another. Feeling this length from the legs all the way through to the crown of the head. Finding our point of focus, feeling balanced through the body, <laughs> and checking in with our breath. Take another inhale, and exhale. Inhale, begin to reach up through the arms, circle them out and up. And then exhale, palms together at heart center, bending through the knees as we dive forward. Palms to plant down onto the mat, and then option here to walk, step, or hop to the back of your mat. Inhaling through our plank, and then exhale, bend through the knees, reach the hips back towards the heels, and then press the thighs up and back. So we're finding our downward facing dog. And then just taking a moment here, finding our breath. Exploring this length through the back line of the legs. Taking another inhale and exhale. And then slowly we'll lower the knees down onto the mat. Tops of the feet will come down. Big toe mounds to touch. Hips as wide as it feels comfortable in the body and maybe finding a pillow underneath the knees or underneath the hips to create a little bit of elevation. You might even find a block underneath the forehead or you can stack the fist to create some space. And we're slowing down the breath. Maybe noticing our heartbeat and the pace of our breath. 
And can we begin to slow it down? Walking the palms in towards the body, head to eyes up last. The knees will come together and we'll shift onto one side of our hips, extending the legs out in front of the body. And just taking a moment here, feeling this length through the spine. Maybe you have a soft bend through the knees today. That's okay, just checking in with where we are. Maybe you have a generous bend. And then inhale, we'll find that length. Take the left sole of the foot, plant it as close as you can to the inside of the right knee. And then interlace the fingers over top of your left shin and begin to find some length through the spine. Flexing the right toes in towards the knee, take an inhale. And then on the exhale, maybe the left foot plants to the outside of the right knee. Still maintaining that length from the right heel all the way up to the right hip and then all the way through our spine. Option here, on an inhale, reach the right arm up towards the sky. And then on your exhale, cross the right elbow to the outside of your left knee, and the left arm can plant behind the body, so finding a little bit of a twist here, opening through the chest. And the right palm faces towards the left side of our mat. And then taking your time to come out of this pose. On our inhale, coming back through to center, fingers can interlace over top of our left shin, bringing it back to the left side and then extending the leg out. You can shimmy out the legs if that feels nice here. And then slowly finding that length in our spine again. We'll plant the right sole of the foot to the inside of our left knee, interlacing the fingers over top of our right shin, taking an inhale. And then exhale, planting our right foot to the outside of the left knee, finding that length through the spine, left toes flex in towards the knee, and maybe we stay here on the side and that's okay. Option for our twist on our inhale, left arm reaches up, and then exhale, hook the left elbow to the outside of our right knee, left palm faces towards the right side of our mat, and our right arm draws behind the body, fingers point towards the back of the mat, opening through the chest. Softening through our breath. Just observing if the side feels a little different than the other and that's okay. We'll take another inhale, slowly coming back to center, bringing the palms over top of our right shin and crossing the right foot from over top of the left and then extending our right heel up to the top of our mat, <laughs> bending through our knees and then planting the soles of the feet down onto the mat. And then we'll come to lie on our backs, <laughs> taking as much time as you need to arrive here. And then we'll bring the soles of the feet together. The knees knock out towards the sides, opening up our hips again here. Maybe observe if this pose feels a little different in the body. Maybe it does and maybe it doesn't and that's okay. And just slowing down the breath. observing maybe what came up through our body in our practice today. Knowing that each day might look a little different and that's okay. We're taking this opportunity to show up as we are in our physical body. Knowing that day to day, maybe even hour to hour, can look a little different for us. And 
And as we settle into the shape, maybe slowing down the breath and connecting with all the parts of the body on the mat. Imagining that you are grounding down towards the earth, allowing the body to relax into gravity. And if this is a lot of sensations for the hips, you can bring blocks underneath the knees or simply keep the soles of the feet planted on the mat and the knees bent. And then we'll take the palms of the hands to the outside of the thighs, begin to draw the knees back in towards center. We'll rock over to our right side using our arm as a pillow for our right ear. And maybe just pausing here to set an intention for the rest of your day. Maybe it's a word or a phrase. Using the arms to support you up into a comfortable seat, taking your time to arrive here. And bringing your hands over top of our heart center. Thank you so much for joining me for practice today. Namaste.